Hi, we are here today uh, to carry on with the color series um, cooking uh, demonstration. And today, what we're going to work upon is on the um, orange <coughs> and yellow and orange color uh, cuisine. So, what is good about uh, orange and yellow color is that actually it's a very good uh, essential vitamins is needed for our eyesight as well. There's also um, uh, antioxidants and oil in it. But the problem with this this color is that you cannot take too much of it. So then people take too much of too much of carrots and all that, right? Some very dark color, orange color. They can ca uh, cause things like jaundice and all that. You know, the color of their skin changing and all. So everything is about moderation. So we're gonna do a very simple healthy soup. You know, which is just using pumpkins and carrots to do a simple uh, uh, creamless soup. You know, which anybody can do it. It's uh, it's gonna be in the very simple steps, which I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how it's gonna be done. So um, we're going to proceed to show you how we actually uh, do this simple dish, you know, in a, just a matter of minutes. And you're leaving it to boil, and after that, you'll get your soup immediately. First, what we have, a very simple ingredient. This is actually what we call the butternut pumpkin, okay? The butternut pumpkin is, itself is a wonderful, wonderful ingredient. Um, it's very, very compact. You can see that most of it is flesh, and there's very little bit of seeds in it over here. And the other thing about it is that it's actually a light sweetness kind of pumpkin. So, and when you cook it and you blend it, it becomes really, really smooth. So this is something that you know, I love to put um, when I do pumpkin soup. This is the kind of pumpkin that I would like to use. And then this is something simple, carrots, you know, um, and these are the two ingredients for the, for the soup. Next dish, something that you can, I think most of people will like. Chicken uh, with uh, mushroom stuffing and then as well as we're going to have sweet potato mashed. Now, for my side, it's like, I think it's a personal preference, but to me, the nutrients on uh, things like potatoes and sweet potatoes, it's really tremendous. And most people will just peel away the skin and then uh, they cook the, the tubers inside there. But for me, I would like to use the skin as part of the food as well as it brings up flavors in it. Now, what most importantly you do is that when you buy a sweet potato, you must take a look at it as that it has to be without any holes or you no know, uh, things been bitten and all that. So as long as it's quite clean, smooth, wash it clean, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to do any peeling at all. So I'll just cut the edge, reserve color, nice beautiful color. Just cook this in boiling water. about 20 minutes then with some olive oil and salt and pepper you will have your sweet potato mash now we're gonna go to the next thing it's chicken we have some salt pepper with our olive oil rosemary butter mushrooms aluminum foil this is all that you need uh, let's make some salad dressings for your salad so we're just going to use a simple lemon juice. We put in a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And 
there you have it. Your own lemon dressing for your salad. Okay, the, um, the next dish is actually a simple um, papaya with yogurt uh, and some fr uh, mixed fruits. Now, this is a, 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 um, a simple dessert that you can actually do it at home. And sometimes you know, you've got visitors coming and you want to do something really fast and to impress. So, you can get papayas anywhere, cut it into little strips like that. And then from this, you just have to cut it into little cubes. Get any nice glasses that you have. I am practically using just a simple wine glass. Yogurt, the balance finishing, you can put some oranges, strawberries, and that's your simple your dessert which is a simple papaya with yogurt and mixed berries. So a very very balanced meal. I hope you liked it and uh, try it out. And uh, you see that the natural taste of food can actually taste much better than food that is putting too much seasoning and dressings to it. So enjoy. And this is, uh, we come to the end of the uh, yellow and orange uh, cooking demonstration from openrice.com.